Hello YouTube, this is my Grand Trace free game review. Well, this game's a uh, free JRP, and this is a match that I played. It's cut up into different pieces. But this is actually a pretty extensive game. It's free, of course, but in, like like most free games, you can do microtransactions where you get like special things. And in the beginning dungeons, you don't get many like items. You get like crafting items, but when you get far, you can get like items that you require, like the uh, entry cash. Entry this creator of this game. Of course, it's a JRP, so it has voiceovers from America. Just because kind of annoying if the voice is all Japanese and you're American. You're like, what are they saying? But, um, it's actually pretty cool. It's kind of reminds me of Mabel Story, except the graphics are improved way more. And there's a lot more dungeons and features. And you, you, you start out, you have to do, like, this quest where you just run through the beginning dungeon a couple times, but, um, you can change the scene as many characters as you want. You start out with three, the knight, the archer, and the mage. I usually do the knight, but I might get the thief. There's a, bu there's a bunch of different classes you can get. If you pay for them with cash, all you have to do is get one crystal, so you can just go through the first match, but if you pay for them with GP, it's 30,000 GP, and you have to do, like, beat a certain dungeon with, like, on three stars five times, which I'm doing that. So I have this quest that I can't complete until I get to that dungeon and level up. But there's a, there's extensive character customization, like you can buy a bunch of accessories, items, you can find items on the ground, and the farther you level up and the farther you advance in the plot line, you can unlock more dungeons. So I'm playing on the Gorgos dungeon right now in this review. I think you go to the first one where you meet the orcs. And it's a never ending, it's a storyline basically. Every dungeon you play through the same storyline for that dungeon. And you can either go through the text with your buddies or you can just skip it and get to the action. And each dungeon ends with a final boss that has to do with like, that's the final boss for the Gorgas dungeon. And each final boss, there's also a dungeon where it's on um, a beach. And the final boss is a queen harpy where there are other harpy enemies and I uh, cut straight to the boss here so you can watch us defeat the boss um and the three starter characters are female too which I find annoying and there's like a couple respawns you get bonus lives it's actually pretty hard if you think about it this gets really challenging especially when you're level like I think I was 12 in this dungeon doing a level 18 dungeon with a bunch of friends. Well, one of them is on my friends list now, I think. Um, but it gets pretty hard. But, oh yeah, there's, ta there's a bunch of tactics you can use for every single boss. And as soon as you figure out the tactic, you can just dominate them. Like, the tactic for a boss that's higher level than you, and it's taken challenging, which I tell everyone. See that blue bar up there? I'll point to that in annotations right now. There we go. Um, that's your mana points, and every time you hit something, you get more mana points, and you can use that for, for MP, and you can use that for special attack. So I usually try to get one full bar and then use that special. And you have to charge up the attack button and use it, but they're usually devastating attacks. And you can upgrade your um, attack set right now. I was level 12 during this recording, and like level 14 now, and my new combos, slash, kick, uh, Link slash, regular slash, regular slash, for the five combo. And the bosses always have devastating attacks. Like, I died five times during this boss attack, but we still won. And, um, it's just pretty cool. Every day, if you play for a certain amount, you get, like, points that you can use to buy stuff. And it's just a fun game. The graphics, it's a free game, so they aren't amazing. They're about Wii quality. It's probably way better than Wii, if you think about it. Um, there's no voice chat, but if you end up have a bunch of friends to play it, and you all have a Ventrilo server, you can probably use a vent for this. I'm sitting there trying to talk to my people on my team, and they're sitting there. One of them's dead. And if you press C and you have bonus lives that you can use, you can press C and you can respawn with them. And that person, they're like, nah, -uh, I'm gonna get trounced again. But 
Okay, the HP bars aren't the orange thing. You get three extra lives and you can use your bonus lives. A lot of dungeon a lot of the later dungeons, well one of the dungeons I have now is excuse me, um one of the dungeons I'm on now is there's a platforming section where if you fall you have to restart the dungeon. With a new party. I, well that's what happened to me one time. But after we finish doing this, checking out the end where you like you get all the items, you find like regular crafting items. Uh it gets sent to someone. I didn't get any, I don't think. But, um, and then this is the store, as you can see, there's, like, a bunch of different options for your character. You can buy a bunch of different stuff. Um, there's the cash shop we can buy. Well, the cash is influenced between in the entire game. Where those are, like, character scrolls. I have one for a... It's as a character. Which is, but yeah, as you can see, if you buy the cash version, you also get other items for it. If you buy the regular version, you only get like one item. It'll help you experience, uh, level up faster. I have the blue guy up there in the corner that right? you just saw. Um, here, like the accessories, like pets. You can be a couple. You can buy stuff there. Um, there there's an attendance thing where you can check your attendance for the day. You can buy different faces. I think it's pretty expensive. Pretty cool. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of different stuff you can choose from. I made my character look like a beach because I was going on the beach level. There's the archer character, which I only have like level 5. I barely beat any of the beginning quests for it. No, not even level 5 because I can't wear the swim ring I have. Um, but it's pretty cool. Uh, you can sell stuff for more gold. Uh, and there's the mage character. I haven't used her at all. I'm just checking how much you can sell those for real quick. But those are items you need for your pet. But yeah, it's a pretty fun game. The graphics are okay. Um, it doesn't really get boring. It doesn't get stale. There's three different servers. <laughs> there are the dungeons. Uh, the more you unlock, the better. The more like uh, areas you can choose from. I only have two islands of block as of now. And I, I think I'm about to go into the first orc. Yeah. This is an easier dungeon with my new character customized with the beach setting. Um, but yeah, you can buy a bunch of accessories. You can fight with your friends. And if you friend, if you have friends that play it too, you should get a Ventura server and use that. Uh, well, I'll let you watch some of this while. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I explained about the combo where, see, this is the highest combo for for you change, like, stuff. You get special swords, like this one, with the buy with gems you get at the end of bosses. Um, I highly recommend this game for people who like action games, the side-scrolling action games, uh, RPGs. But yeah, it's a pretty awesome game. Um, I'd probably give it a probably. I'm getting at the credits right now. Rating so overall, I give it a nine. Nine out of ten, just because you know it's pretty fun. Um, the gra graphics are eight out of ten because it could be a little neater, like they're jaggedy. Um. The gameplay, I give a 10 out of 10. It's solid. It's challenging. Um, and uh, that's basically it. It's pretty fun. I haven't seen any hackers. I definitely recommend the game. See ya.